Hello everyone, and today's lesson is chaining. So what you're going to need is yarn and a hook, like last time. And you're going to start off by making a slip knot. You're going to hold the working yarn in your left hand and hold your hook in your right hand. The way I crochet is different for everyone. You find what works for you. I place the hook on the side of my hand resting on my middle finger. I hold it there using my thumb and then I use my index finger to hold the loop that's on the hook. There are different ways that you can hold your yarn. No matter how you hold it, you want to make sure that you keep a constant tension. To chain, you're going to either use your hook to go underneath the yarn or use your left hand to pull the yarn over the hook. Once the strand of yarn is on the hook, you are going to turn the hook down so when you pull, it grabs the yarn. And then you are going to take your index and thumb and hold the base of the loop that is on the hook as you use your right hand to pull the hook through that loop. If you don't keep a consistent tension when you are chaining, your chain will end up looking like this. Where, see I have a tight stitch, a loose stitch, and then the rest of my chain is normal. Remember though that some people chain loosely and some people chain tightly, you just have to find what works for you, but keep it consistent. Now when I chain is different than when I crochet, I hold my hook differently. And when you're chaining or crocheting, you want to count as you go. So here I am chaining 10. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. If you're going to go back and recount to make sure that you have the correct length of a chain, you don't count the loop that's on the hook, 